Gravlax, Lox, or Salt Cured Salmon, and Smoked Salmon are pretty expensive to buy, and you'll only get a couple of slices out of a packet. Whereas making it yourself is much cheaper, more delicious, and you get a lot more out of one batch. It takes a few days total, but there's barely any hands-on time. We're just burying a nice piece of salmon in a mix of salt and sugar for a couple of days. First things first, let's talk salmon. Get as nice a piece as you can afford, seeing as this really is the main event. Ideally get a thick piece with the skin on. I filmed this video just before Christmas, which is peak time for buying salmon, so I could only get a skinned piece. More often than not, your side of salmon will still have the pin bones in. You can take them out now if you want, but it's actually slightly easier to wait until your fish is cured. Now for our cure. For every kilo or 2.5 pounds of salmon, you want roughly 250 grams or just over 1 cup each of coarse salt and sugar. I actually prefer to replace a portion of the sugar with salt in a 300 to 200 ratio, just so I don't get any sweetness, which I'm not that into in my salmon. Add in any extra herbs and spices you want to use, like mixed peppercorns and some chopped dill. But you can use anything you'd like really, such as juniper berries, cloves, chili flakes, it's really up to you. Just roughly chop your herbs, only bother to take out the thickest stalks, most of it will get rinsed off before the end anyway. Once you've added all your ingredients to a bowl, give it a quick mix and set it to one side while we prep the dish we're going to cure the salmon in. Use anything that your piece of fish can comfortably fit in. Stretch a few pieces of plastic wrap across the bottom with enough slack to be able to wrap around your salmon. Spread about half your salt mixture over the bottom. Place your fish on top, skin side down, then cover the top with the rest of the cure. Make sure as much of the flesh is covered as possible and press down a bit. Wrap it tightly and place something on top to act as a weight that will keep pressing the fish down as it cures. You've now done about 90% of the work needed to make homemade locks. Just put your dish in the fridge for at least 24 hours or up to 3 days depending on how cured you want your salmon and the size of the piece you have. I like a nice middle ground of 2 days, but if you're in a hurry to eat it, you'll still get a good result after just 24 hours. Whatever duration you choose, about halfway through the curing, give the fillet a flip, put the weight back on, and then just put it back in the fridge again. Once you're satisfied with your cure, remove your salmon from the fridge and you'll be able to see all the liquid that we've drawn out of the fish. Take off the plastic and rinse off any excess salt mixture. Get another dish or a tray lined with kitchen paper, place the salmon on it and then pat the fish as dry as possible. I'll leave mine an extra 24 hours in the fridge uncovered just to make sure it dries out fully. It's at this stage that I debone my fish just because the flesh has tightened and I find it easier to feel where the bones are sticking out. Worst case scenario, they're even easier to remove by hand as you slice the fish. If you're cutting thin slices, it's pretty unlikely that you'll miss one. Now just take a sharp, thin knife and cut some slices at an angle with a light sawing motion, as thick or thin as you'd like, and enjoy. You can re-wrap your locks in some plastic wrap and it'll keep in the fridge for about 5 days, even longer if you've cured it longer.
Another option, if you have an obsession with collecting kitchen tools and happen to have a smoke gun, is to put your cured and dried salmon in a dish, cover the dish with foil and insert the smoke tube. Turn on the gun and light some wood chips in the little basket. Let your dish fill up with smoke, turn off the smoker and put the whole thing in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Repeat this process two or three more times at least, more even depending on if you want it very smoky. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. When you're done pretending to be an airbender, remove the foil and give your salmon a taste test. Just remember, the edges taste a lot stronger and the flavour will mellow out after a bit as well. Wrap your smoked salmon until you're ready to use it, which also helps the smoke flavour permeate the whole piece of fish. Whether you just have gravlax or smoked salmon, I like having mine on a homemade bagel, kind of a flex, but I also don't have a choice because I can't buy bagels where I live, with cream cheese and maybe some cucumber or red onion. You can also use any leftovers for all sorts of things like in pasta or wrap a few slices in some puff pastry and bake them in the oven. You'll find a lot more uses for cured salmon when you're not limited to having four slices in a batch. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll leave you with the last bit of b-roll.